When you implement a Facebook pixel on your website or when you configure Facebook conversion API, you start to send information to Facebook. Basically, you start to send events and event parameters. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site, and if you want to learn about uh, how to properly use the data that your Facebook pixel sends to Facebook, uh, well, watch this video. I'm not going to explain very complicated things, just the basic stuff about events and um, why they are so important. What can you do with events? Um, more or less two things. You can create custom audiences and you can create custom conversions. But uh, events are also used automatically by Facebook for uh, different stuff, stuff like uh, dynamic product ads. And uh, of course, you can also uh, optimize your ads for a particular event. Now, what is an event? Well, it, basically, uh, it's a, a piece of code corresponding to an action happening on your website. Let's say I um, go to your website and I visit a page. That's a page view, a page view event. If I go to your website and I visit uh, a more uh, important content, like a product page, that's a view content event. And Facebook has a long list of standard events, but you can also configure your own custom event. A custom event, it's an event that's not in the list of standard events. It's very simple. Now, uh, parameters are um, additional uh, pieces of information for each event. You have, um, again, some default parameter for some events like for example value must be a parameter for all your purchase events if you do dynamic ads view content and uh, add to cart and purchase must have uh, content ids and content type parameters but you can also have any parameters that you want when you feel the need to send additional information about a particular event and i will use a very easy to understand the action of a very simple event, uh, search. Well, a search event is fired when someone does a search on your website. It's very obvious. And uh, the search event has a specific parameter called term. Term is the string or the words uh, someone search on your website. So now you have a search event corresponding to the action and a term parameter corresponding to the uh, term that was searched on your website. What you can do, you can create a very general uh, custom audience, for example, for people that search something, anything on your website, or you can create a more specific uh, custom audience for people that search a particular term on your website or um, keywords matching. Uh, a particular uh, term so this can be more uh, specific and you can pinpoint words a, a set of your audience not just anybody that uh, search for something on a your website but the, the people that search for something uh, specific and, and this is true for uh, every other event that you want that you have um, now as you might know uh, we uh, pixel your site try to help you identify track every single action without effort. To do this, we have a, a set of events that we fire automatically. For example, if you have WooCommerce, we have all the e-commerce specific event, events and more. Uh, but we also have uh, an event called the signal event that's uh, very useful and uh, it tracks a large number of actions. Uh, I Give me one second, I want to show this here. So this is Pixel Your Site. If you scroll, you have the section for the signal event. If you click on it, you will see all the um, triggers that this event has. And it has internal or external clicks. Watch video for YouTube and uh, Vimeo, uh, embedded videos, uh, telephone links, email links, forms, when someone clicks on a form button, user signups when someone uh, sign up uh, signs up to your website it creates uh, when someone creates an account on your wordpress uh, downloads and you can specify what file qualifies for a download comments uh, we even have uh, an adsense click 
trigger and um, scroll and you can configure the uh, percent of the page that might be scrolled to, to for this event and time on page in a second so if i spend more than 30 seconds on a particular page i will trigger a signal event with this uh, event action parameter and um, yeah the idea is we fire this event the signal event and we have a, a, a parameter called event action that um, explains what uh, trigger uh, is associated with that event and let me just show you how it works and this is a demo page I click on this link let's click on this external link to pixel your site okay and uh, we will have a signal event with various parameters um, event action is the external click because it was a, a URL uh, to, uh, leading to an external um, page and we have text which was the text on the URL and this is the text so this is how you can easily identify a particular action and create a custom audience or a custom conversion now um, you can also configure your own uh, events from our events tab it's pretty easy you can add and then you have various triggers and you can uh, add triggers here and then enable the event for let's say Facebook uh, select from the list of uh, standard events these are the standard events I was mentioning earlier or create a custom event and add parameters as you want or you need but chances are you don't have to uh, configure new events we, you probably can simply use our signal event to identify every action and uh, to do so it's very easy you go to your website you perform the action you want to use for example I, don't know, I uh, click on a, an affiliate link or uh, like in this case uh, sending a form or maybe watching a video I have this nice video here if I uh, watch this video we will have a number of uh, events signal events fired for example this was event action video play and uh, video title and well is the title of the video we also have video type which uh, in this case should be vimeo because it's a vimeo embedded video yeah right here okay so the idea is go to your website uh, perform the action you want to use and then uh, create go to your events manager click here uh, create custom audience or create custom conversion and start to use the event like this this is a, a custom audience for example I will select the event that I want to use in so let's say signal and uh, I will give it the, okay refine by URL parameter and the value will be this is an external link okay so um, with this setup the the custom audience will include everybody that click on this particular link with um, the text that you see right here if I have a similar link with a similar text on a different page that will be also included but there are various ways to pinpoint to the exact action so I, I was just uh, showing you an example the same thing well you have to of course um, come create the, the, the audience I, I will not create it there are other things you can do you can give it give it a name and maybe add some other conditions you can change the retention time for up to 180 days anyway it's pretty pretty intuitive the same thing can be done for custom audiences you go again into your event manager yeah it's very simple you select the event and then you add the rules parameters select the parameter and define what um, condition you should have for this custom audience is the same process is very very intuitive 
the, the most important thing is to correctly identify the event that should be used for the custom audience. You basically uh, perform the action, check with Pixel Helper the events parameters, and then use them for your custom conversion or custom audience. Once, once you have a custom audience, you can create lookalikes and Facebook will try to um, find people similar to that audience, which is very good if you want to expand your business. Um, you can uh, retarget people from your custom audience or you can exclude them from ads. Again, it can be very important because you don't want to show ads to people that already converted um, for the action you promote with your ads. And with uh, custom conversions, you need to add the custom conversion under aggregated events measurement, measurement, which is here, go and configure web events. I have a video explaining exactly this process on, on the channel. You should look for it. And uh, once you have it under aggregated event measurement, you can uh, start to use that custom audience. You can optimize your ads for that particular action, or you can uh, view reports inside your ads. Uh, manager so this is why uh, events are so important you can uh, use them for custom audiences uh, audiences and custom conversions it's really a good idea to do it because uh, you can uh, identify the most valuable segments of your audience and you can find people similar to them and you can optimize your ads for uh, important actions uh, not it's not a good idea to use only the purchase event. If you, if you have uh, a WooCommerce or e-commerce website, maybe you can create something around other actions and uh, the single event can easily, easily help you to do it.